So hi, it's Scott here, and uh, again I've come out for a cheeky half, and today I'm at the Pine Martin, which is on Otley Road, just near the RHS Garden, uh, which is uh, also on Harlow Car. Let's go in and see what they've got to offer. So on Otley Road, we find the Pine Martin, which is a Mitchells and Butler property, and the sub-brand is Innkeeper's Lodge. It is a, sort of a restaurant with rooms, I guess, bar, uh, and there's an example of the rooms there, that's from the, from the website. And as we'll see in, oh, as we can see now, uh, rather contemporary and quite a stylish looking bar, quite modern. I think it's been refurbished within the last year or so. And uh, yes, I thought it was right. There's a bit of a restaurant area around there. We'll have a look at the out of the garden in just a moment. A few little nooks and crannies, a rather pleasant uh, bar area. Lots of premium keg and two hand poles. And I ordered a half of Leeds Pale which was £2.20 and uh, just looking around the, the rather nice bar area it's got Guinness it's got I think Aspel Cider there was some Grolsch um, and then uh, Prava um, the, the lager a number of other what I would say premium keg products and there I am tucking into my Leeds Pale and it looked like I am uh, quite uh, enjoying it really so this was a Saturday afternoon so that's why it was quite quiet I think uh, as you can see, rather nice little area on there. Now outside, lovely little garden, a bit of a water feature, lots of places to sit down. Now the buildings in the background, that's the, like the industrial estate that's just behind it. Lots of people work in this area and uh, very pleasant, uh, again, nooks and, nooks and crannies really, lots of umbrellas. Uh, I would imagine a very pleasant place to have a, a beer and something to eat uh, in the summer. And uh, yeah, lots of uh, little sub areas around as well. As you can see, the building itself is uh, it looks quite old. It's certainly not a uh, from the cookie cutter. Have some character. It's a very nice garden. Um, little water feature there in the middle. The uh, the beer itself is very nice as well. Uh, Leeds panel, very nice, exactly as it should be. It's keeping its head. Uh, the dining area looks very nice. The guy was very polite as well. He uh, posed uh, for the camera for me and pulled the pint on camera. Uh, I think we'll come back really have spent some money on it since I was last year which was ages ago in Venice it was probably eight or nine years ago um, yeah very nice indeed very spacious car park on a couple of levels you can see the industrial estate there just behind and uh, yeah very pleasant looking building indeed a strange sort of complicated in and out system um, I can imagine it could get quite congested if that wasn't in place though so let's have a look at uh, some of the food then so it was, uh, you know, it's a chain pub, so I guess the food will reflect that. Small plates around seven pounds. What's that? Belly pork there, a little bit of that, and then uh, duck parfait. Yeah, looks all right. Uh, lamb rump there, twenty-one pounds. Uh, curry for about eighteen, I think. Um, yeah, quite quite a few things. And then the grills looked a bit expensive. Filled steak there, twenty-seven pounds, which I suppose is not that expensive. Um, and then uh, some. Other bits and pieces. The burgers, uh, burger there, sixteen pounds. That does sound a bit pricey. Some pizzas there, about fourteen. So I'm giving it four point one for tankards, and uh, yes, I certainly would return to the Pine Martin. A rather uh, pleasant place to spend a bit of time. I'm guessing it's one of those places that four o'clock on a Friday gets very, very busy indeed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.